Good evening guys, welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video. I'm PTT and tonight we're actually going to be kicking off a series that I've wanted to do for a little while. Um, I've kind of been planning a few bits out about it. But we're going to start off with the starter guide to Clan Boss. Um, that's something that I thought, well, I wanted to do. And actually it kind of makes sense. We're in the free to play right now. Uh, I've actually just started hitting up Clan Boss myself um, on my new account. So I can actually make this and make it relatable. Um, I can also do a couple of other videos as we go through the three month free to play challenge um, as things change and I get new champions and I can kind of do a running series. Um, I want to do it for Clan Boss, Hydra, Doom Tower and Curse City. Although obviously that's not all going to be on the free to play account, of course. But I thought, well, Clan Boss is probably the most important area, if not the single most important area of the game that you need to progress. Um, it holds the best rewards in the game. So why not start there? So that is exactly what we're going to do. So the Clan Boss is found here. Um, and obviously you've got all the varying difficulties. You've got Easy, Normal, Hard, Brutal, Nightmare and Ultra Nightmare. Now, Ultra Nightmare is obviously the best it's the cream of the crop it's where you want to get to but it's not going to happen overnight trust me it took me well over a year maybe 18 months before i could hit ultra nightmare uh, when i started hitting ultra nightmare i could just about four key it and even now i'm only just comfortably two key in it if i can get both my keys in on void on my main account um, if i don't get both keys in void all my clan mates just hit it quicker than what i can um, because they have the, the auto battle teams, then I end up um, having to rely on affinity. If it goes to spirit affinity, I end up having to still three key it. Um, if it goes magic, it's RNG if I get the two key. If it goes force, I, I can definitely two key, um, and that just comes down to kind of my, my champions. Um, but yeah, like I said, look, it's, it's the must do. You get a lot of silver, a lot of gems, potions, shards, books, everything comes from clan boss so you want to aim to get up here eventually but it's going to take a very long time so right out of the bat because we want to cover this as a complete starter maybe you're maybe you're watching the free to play challenge from one of the creators maybe you've seen an ad on facebook and you are literally new to the game you don't know anything about the game you're coming into this blind what is clan boss how do you start doing it how do you progress through it so you can start getting the rewards well, Clan Boss is a single target boss. Um, there's no wave-based activity to it. It's just a single target boss. Um, you use keys instead of energy. Um, you can get up to four keys a day um, because they're on a six-hour cooldown. Uh, reset currently in the time zones for us here in the UK is 10 a.m. It resets every single day. And every single day, you have a chance to use all four of your keys if you want to do that. Um and get some, like I say, some of the best rewards as you go through the different levels, the, the rewards scale, um, and they do scale very well, to be honest. So it's it's definitely a must do. Like I say, it's a single target boss, so you haven't got to worry about the, the waves like you do in dungeons, but he does hit pretty hard and he does have some mechanics that you need to be aware of. Um, I suppose the first mechanic that I should make you aware of is he is a boss that changes affinity. I mentioned it earlier, um, but he starts off as a void affinity boss and then he can either go spirit, magic, or it's not seen on here, but force affinity as well. Depending on what affinity he goes to will very much vary the damage of your team. Um, if you didn't know... The way Raid works its damage is if you are the same affinity or um, a strong affinity, then that works in your favour. But if you are an off affinity, um, you're going to do less damage. You're not going to land your critical hits. You're not going to land your debuffs and things like that. So it is something to note. Um, it's probably something I'll cover in a separate video more in depth because obviously I want to keep this to the point of clan boss. Um, We'll put that on silent and we'll just edit out the next five seconds while I do that. And I'm back. <laughs> By the magic of video editing. Can't believe I uh, forgot to mute my phone. Anyway, where were we? Like I say, um, clan boss. So, how do you... 
enter clan boss you can see here on the left hand side of the screen we kind of we're on the free to play we vary everywhere from yst's team down here he's uh doing 900k um all the way up to odd one here who's hitting for five and a half million on easy odd one's also hitting 4.6 million on normal odd one's also hitting 3 million on hard mullet reavers hitting 7 million so how do they do the damage well there's a couple of ways you can actually do damage to clan boss you can you can um rely on your standard direct damage so that is obviously a champion hitting the boss and getting a damage number um, that damage number will obviously scale on your crit rate your crit damage and whatever your um your skill draws its power from so be that an attack skill or a defense skill we'll go into that a little bit more later on um, then second to your kind of direct raw damage uh, you have the debuff damage now the best way of doing uh, damage to the clan boss is that debuff way and it's actually poisons so if you were lucky enough to pick kale as your starting champion you will be able to do a lot of damage you can see like the top teams here they have kale in and that is because kale is a poisoner kale is a very good poisoner um but there are then things to take into account for poison damage as well um, this is where it starts to get a little bit complicated but it doesn't get complicated it's the game makes it seem a lot more complicated than it actually is and that's kind of why i wanted to cover it because it's something i struggled with when i first started and i was not hitting clan boss for months because i didn't understand the fight and i also didn't realize how important it was so we've got more damage we've got debuff damage how do we kind of push these damage numbers up to what's needed to get the one key and then obviously progress into um moving up to a harder difficulty and still taking that damage through well there's a couple of ways of doing that um we'll actually come out of there and we'll come into our our champions list to to talk about this so i'm going to use my kale here as an example i said obviously that we have raw damage so let, let's go through all the points quickly again we have raw damage so that takes into account your crit rate and your crit damage and then whatever um the stat is for the skill uh, scalability um, so obviously here, Kale, his damage is based on attack, based on attack, based on attack. So when he hits the clan boss, first of all, it will look at the crit rate and it go, right, you've got 100% crit rate. So every single one of your hits will be a critical hit. Then it will look at your critical damage, mine's 76%. So it will um, out do the multiplier and it will add the 76% critical damage, combine it with the 1,781 attack and that, uh, becomes your damage number that you hit the clan boss for um, but then the other way of doing damage outside of the direct damage as we said was poison damage and that comes here so we attack him four times at random now that part of the skill that is direct damage that will deal damage based on as we just said the crit rate the crit damage and then the attack and then it has a 40 percent chance of placing a poison for two turns now poisons and hb burns they are um debuff ways of dealing damage via debuffs so every time in this instance the clan boss but it works in dungeons and, and all the other content as well as the enemy will say take or the boss takes a turn the poisons and the burn they do a tick of damage um, and that damage adds up over time so prolonged fights like clan boss like hydra poisons and burns tend to be the way to get them down as you go into harder content burns also become a very good way of dealing with um, wave-based content because the burns scale very well and the way they t just the way they tick on the enemies it means that they do an incredible amount of damage so we want to be hitting the clan boss with poisons poisons um, burns anything like that will just magnify your damage how then do we do that damage because this is what i uh, personally messed up on very early on and i couldn't get my head around well to land debuffs any debuffs okay be it the poison on kale be it um the burns here that i have on hermit or even the decreased attack that mother superior has 
how do we land those skills? Well, we have to have accuracy. And accuracy is down here, okay? Now, every level of dungeon, including the clan boss, including Hydra and areas like that, all have a particular number. All the bosses have a particular number for their health, for their speed, for their resistance, and for their accuracy. Now, you need your accuracy to be higher than their resistance. And that also works similarly if you want to... It, uh, if they put things out, so like when the clan boss stuns you, if you want to not take the stun, you need to make sure that your resistance is higher than their accuracy. So it, it works on the flip. Um, but yeah, you want to have enough accuracy to land your debuff. So that way, we have a 40% chance to land the debuff. Okay, It's not 100%, it's only a 40 but it will still only land if we've got the accuracy. So if you're not building a champion with any accuracy then you're not going to land this and you're not going to get the extra damage similarly you're not going to land the decrease attack increasing your survivability basically because he hits you for less so that's like the the most important thing to take into account when you're looking at right how do i damage the clan boss direct damage hp burn and poisons are the best obviously next to that direct damage so what's the next and most important thing to take into account then when we look at the clan boss and go right i i understand the damage i understand how i can do damage to him what's next well the next most important thing is survivability you have to be able to survive um, a high number of turns to get that maximum damage now if we go back to the clan boss very quickly here you will see that down here ultra nightmare you need to do like 70.2 million damage now as the clan boss ramp uh, over time every time the clan boss takes a turn he hits you harder and harder and harder and harder so by the time you get to turn 50 he is smacking you so hard you are are dead he will also ignore unkillable block damage they are things that we will talk about in a later video because you're not going to be utilizing those in these early stages but it is worth noting his damage ramps up, so you really do need to be able to survive. And the longer you can survive in the fight, ultimately the more damage you are going to do. So how do we survive? Well, we actually have a champion here that will show the best way of surviving in multiple different ways. So first of all, we'll talk about debuffs, okay? I just said that um, the clan boss scales. Um, his damage, every time he hits you, he hits you even harder. So how do we survive that? Well, first of all, we can say, right, we're going to bang on a decrease attack. That means that he is hitting us for less. In this instance, it's the small version. It's the baby version of it, but it's still good, especially early on. So we have a 35% chance of placing a 25% decrease attack, and it lasts for two turns. Now, this is on her A1. So we can cycle it very well. Again, it's only a 35% chance of landing. But when it does land, that is going to help you survive even longer. Obviously, again, it's in red, which means it's a debuff. That means you have to have accuracy to land it. So that's one way. We can decrease the damage that he's hitting us with. That will increase our survivability. The next way to survive even longer is to have a shield on us and to heal. Now, this is why Mother Superior is very good early on and why I'm extremely happy to have pulled her because she will give me a shield. Now, a shield will soak up a lot of that damage until it pops and then the champion will take the damage. Up until that point, the shield takes the damage. Um, so if we've got, let's say, a 1,000 um, HP shield, the clan boss hits us for 1,200, the shield takes 1,000 damage, then it pops and the champion only takes 200 damage. So that obviously increases our survivability. But she also has this heal here where she heals an ally by 30% and it's of her max HP. Okay, Some heals go off of the champion, the, uh, the champion that's being healed's HP and they're not as good, especially for damage dealers because damage dealers have lower HP typically and higher damage. Uh, whereas if we're using champions like Mother Superior who heal based off of her HP, what you can do to get very good heals is you can pump her health as high as you actually can and that will increase her healing. So that's, that, that's another way of surviving longer in the clan boss and then obviously increasing your damage. 
Um, the next way to deal with it, we have it here in Old Hermit, is with a revive. Okay, revives are amazing. Now, revives tend to be on long cooldowns. You can see here that Hermits is on a seven turn cooldown. Um, we use some books in him. We get that down to a uh, seven, five, seven, six, five turn cooldown. It's really late and I'm really sorry that I, I, I apparently can't do maths anymore. Um, now, as you go through the game, you will unlock uh, better revivers. One of the better ones being a champion like Pytheon. Um, he has his here. His goes down to a four turn, He but he revives all allies. So in Clan Boss, he will pick up the entire team. In Hydra, in Dungeons, he will pick up the entire team. And he boosts the turn meter. And he puts a strengthen on your team, decreasing the damage that you are taking. Because strengthen massively reduces the damage that your champions take from enemy damage. So as you progress through the game, you can see that everything we're covering here can be taken through and you kind of just scale it up um, uh, uh, the poisons are a good example from kale we have the baby poisons here the 2.5s and the big poisons are five now he has a 40 percent chance of placing a five percent poison for two turns there are some champions that will land them a hundred percent of the time and they maybe land two three four of them and then you're getting more damage every time they tick um and, and that pretty much goes for everything. The decrease attack. This is a baby version of decrease attack. You go start going through when you get epic and legendary champions. This will start going to a big boy version of decrease um, attack. You also start looking to add things in like decrease defense and weaken. This will allow you to do more damage. A bit like um, how when we put decrease attack out, he hits us less. If we put a decrease defense and a weaken on him, that means that he is going to take a lot more damage. Uh, one thing, actually, why I'm talking about decrease defense and weaken, uh, I don't know if I covered it earlier, um, but it was the increase attack. I think I did mention it, uh, but the increase attack here will obviously boost Kale's attack. So it's all about when, when you're trying to build this team for clan boss because obviously it's not just a one champion deal you're building a team here to take the fight on you want to build your team to complement each other and basically make the most of of what you can do with a limited roster because obviously early on you're hitting these early levels you're you've you've got a limited roster so we have to make it better um, or make make the most of the roster that we have in the in the best way possible. So for me, obviously, I, I have some of the, the, these champions here. Let's pretend some of these are better. But we're looking and go right. Kale, he's coming in here. He is going to be our damage dealer. He's going to be our raw damage dealer, but he's also going to be our poisoner. Mother Superior is going to come in because she is going to bring a decreased attack. We, we want that, especially early on for the clan boss when we don't have great gear. So our, our stats are naturally lower, like HP and defense. So decrease attack, very, very important. She also brings a heal. I'm going to bring Hermit in because he's a reviver. So if anyone does die, he can pick them up and he can revive. Now, I actually have Mordecai as well because I started with him because we get Rathalos as the free login champion. And that's actually going to be the next clan boss video I talk about how I... So how I'm going to step from easy and normal up to what I'm hoping is hard and potentially even brutal with the pairing of Mordecai, Mother Superior and the new login champion Rathalos. But that's another video. So this is where I am right now. I've got a healer. I've got a reviver. I've got a poisoner. I've got a burner. Now, if I had it, I would put another poisoner in here or I would put a... Um, another support champion like Mother Superior, not not the same champion. I wouldn't put two of the same, uh, but if I had another healer or another champion that put something like an increased speed or um, an increased defense on my team, I would put them in this slot. I don't have that at the moment, so I just run War Priest. She does bring some things. Her A1, you can't freeze the clan boss. But again, she brings a little heal and she brings a second version of increased attack. So she does something at the moment, um, but it's more just a, a filler slot for me until I've got better things. So, yeah, I, I think 
that you know we'll, we'll go we'll actually go into a run because it, it doesn't take me long to do a run uh, what do we need to do um, I do believe we've actually done our easy one for the day I can't even find my own name on the list maybe I haven't done it maybe we put our key yeah we put two keys into here and actually I feel yeah I think I need to put my third key into here so look, we'll go into here and I can try and explain how the fight's going and why we're getting through what we're doing. So you can see here, look, straight away, we land, let's slow it down, look, we land our poisons at the top. Um, let's take it off auto, so we'll let him take his hit there, look, he's, he's giving us a smack. Right, and you will see here, look, we've got two poisons on, we've got a HP burn on. Now, we have shieldage on all of our champions. You can see that's this um, grey silvery bar that's covering our green health bar here. We've got a continuous heal, all right? That's going to heal our champions. Then we've got the increase attack, meaning that we're going to do more damage. Now, one thing you have to be wary of, remember we, we go back uh, to the start of the video, we talked about affinity. Uh, the clan boss will change affinity at the halfway mark. So when you do, when your clan as a whole do enough damage to him to get him below the halfway mark, he will swap affinities. He will always start as a void affinity, but then it will randomly swap between the spirit, the magic, or the force affinities that it can do um, after that halfway mark. So that's something you do have to be wary of because it gives him buffs. Increase attack is the worst one to be able to get out of all of them. Um, but yeah, let's let's carry on watching. Uh, you'll see there that, that we did that we're, we're doing the direct damage. In fact, let's try and show you this one. So we're, we're coming back to Kale here. Look, we're going to come in. This one doesn't do any poison, so all the damage we're going to see here is direct damage. Twenty-six and a half thousand damage for that one there. That was a direct hit that took our critical rate, our critical damage, and our attack all into one, and that's the damage it gave us. Now, you see those red numbers there. Um, I probably had it going a little bit too fast. But those red numbers there, they were the, the ticks of damage, the damage over time that was done by the poisons and the burns on our champions. Uh, what are we going to do? We can't. There's no point using this because we can't turn me to control the clan boss anyway. We are going to come in with a heal, heal Mordecai up because he's useful for the burns. Now, you can see here this one, we have decreased speed. That is another thing that the spirit champion throws on us with the decreased speed. Uh, we don't need the revive there. We're going to come back in and we're going to try and put the burns on, which we did because we have the accuracy. Now, again here, you'll see that we'll get numbers hit. Uh, the yellow numbers we'll hit him will be our critical numbers. That's our direct damage. But we're also going to put the poison, hopefully, up here, which will then give us, there we go, some more damage. See those red numbers there? 75,000, 75,000, 15,000. That was the uh, poison ticks and the burn ticks. So it, it's extra damage over time. We'll hit auto and let this carry on running. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping now, guys, that you understand how the clan boss works, um, how you can build a team to start hitting clan boss and progress and like i say I'll, I'll do more videos on the the progression as we go through um so important stats crit rate crit damage on damage dealers and then obviously survivability the one thing i probably didn't mention and should have done a bit earlier is speed speed is very very important as well as accuracy um you need the speed in your team you do not want a champion that is going slow the easy stage um, of clan boss, I believe, is 90 speed, I want to say. So you kind of want to aim for anything over 100. Um, ideally, speed boots is the best way to go. Um, you, you crank the speed up on your champions because the more turns you can take compared to the clan boss, again, the more damage you're doing. Yeah. Um, if you're going slower than him, he's going to hit you more. Yeah, it's real simple maths. If he hits you twice and you hit him once... He's doing more damage on you. If he hits you once and you hit him twice or later when you get into the harder difficulties and you do something, what's called a three to one tune, you hit him three times for every one time he hits you. You start to see how the damage numbers really start going up um, So speed, accuracy and then survivability, um, HP and defense on your champions. That's how you start clan boss. They are the same. Um, things that will stay with you as you progress through 
clan boss all the way up to ultra nightmare so there we go look we only lasted four minutes but we did get 2.3 million damage which is a lot better than the keys i got this morning because i finished leveling up my kale today um i can't actually show you my three keys but basically i think i got about 1.2 million on my first key today because kale was only level 23 or 24 and he was only three star or four star ascended um hermit had no ascension on him either and he didn't have it so he didn't have his revive ability so i've been able to push a lot of damage out of my team just through one day's worth of playing ascending some champions finishing leveling them up and things like that so yeah look hopefully guys that sums up everything you need to know on clan boss how to get started on clan boss how to deal some damage to clan boss how to survive the clan boss and then you'll start picking up your rewards every single day and these shards these books everything will help you progress through the game further um like i said clan boss is a marathon and not a sprint it is not a fight that you're going to just come in pick it up straight away smack through it get yourself into ultra nightmare uh, ultra nightmare in a month or two and start picking up these sacred shards and getting legendary champions you know quickly <laughs> it takes a long time it also comes down to the rng on your shards that you get from these lower levels you might get really lucky as i've shown you on here look mullet got lucky he pulled one of the best burning champions in the game in geomancer odd one pulled a venom age and like me got hermit as a reviver we've got a pain keeper here from um what's that jkg pain keeper is huge for a clan boss team if you get something like a demitho you've got an unkillable team going and then you can progress up to nightmare and ultra nightmare very very quickly if you can start putting those kind of teams together but those these early days it's just about survival and damage the best way that you can for your account and the champions that you have on it what i will finally do before i go because i know this video has gone on quite a way uh, if you're still watching it thank you very much i appreciate it i'm going to leave two links in the video description one of them is to the hell hades website the other one is to the deadwood jedi website the deadwood jedi website is all clan boss um Obviously, he does arena and things in here, but Deadwood is all about clan boss. The clan boss calculator, the speed tuning of teams, and how to really push clan boss. To me, I would say this is a site that is worth reading through and understanding a lot more about clan boss. Um, I learned a hell of a lot watching through his videos and trying to understand some of the more in depth mechanics around clan boss. And finding out how i can utilize certain champions together to do things that you are not meant to do but you can get them to do because of the way you speed tune a team um so yeah this is really cool but it is more for the kind of brutal nightmare ultra nightmare end of clan boss but the lessons you can learn from going through this you know reading through the guides and, and bits like that will help the more important one is this one here. This is the Hell Hades gaming site. You can come on here. You can basically, well, it's got everything, okay? New player guides, um, Curse City, Hydra, Doom Tower, Raid Stages Tool, Factions, Clan Boss. Everything you need is on this website to do with Raid Shadow Legends. I love it. Uh, last couple of days, I took the leap and actually became a paid member for the um, HH gaming membership. That's not them paying me, by the way, that's me paying them. I use this site so much that um, for me, it's worth, I think it's 4 99 a month that I pay on the membership. And that does allow me to have more of the optimizer available. So the optimizer here, absolutely amazing. I don't actually have mine open in the background. Let me open that quickly. Um, I'll show you it before I go because this is why it's so helpful. It's free to everybody, but there are added benefits that come with being a paid member if that's something you choose to do. Um, but I've used it for two years now as a free member and my, my main account wouldn't be where it is today in terms of hitting Ultra Nightmare um, hitting Hydra, completing Doom Tower on hard and normal and the secret rooms, um, being able to hit all of the dungeons, normal and stepping into hard. 
Iron Twins, Sand Devil, absolutely every piece of content in this game I can do because of this one website and this, more importantly, the optimizer. So you can come in here, you can pick your champion and it will help you build your champion. We said earlier how important things like accuracy and speed are. This will help you build your champion to have the stats that you need and not waste them. So you can see I, I built this build here through the optimizer. I have 101 crit rate. So it tries not to waste any stats. It gives me the accuracy that I need for the level of clan boss I'm hitting. And then I told it I just want to be able to survive. I want some speed, but I want to survive. And it found me a build that did that. So it's a really cool site. Like I say, I'll leave the comments. Uh, I will leave the links to the Hell Hades and the Deadwood Jedi site in the comment section down below. They are absolutely fantastic site. I highly recommend going and having a look through the sites. Familiarize yourself with what they do and how they can help you as an account. Because, yeah, I, I wouldn't be where I am today without both of those accounts. Um, so they're fantastic. Anyway, guys, I know it's been a long one, but I, I do really help. Uh, I really help. I really hope. Um, this video helps you if it did then please give us a thumbs up please leave me some comments in the section down below let me know if you did like it and you found it helpful what other videos would you like to see i plan to do more on the clan boss um, going through how to improve as i get there on the free to play um, i also want to do this a similar thing that i've done here for hydra and doom tower because i feel again personally for me they are areas that i really struggled on and uh, you make massive leaps your your account shoots up almost overnight when you can start doing certain things in the game and clan boss hydra and doom tower are the three big areas that when you can start cracking into those bits of content and improving the benefits from doing those bits of content are phenomenal for your account um, but yeah that's it guys i've waffled on long enough i'm really sorry it's uh Oh, crap. It's turned into like a 30-odd minute video. But hopefully it hopefully it was worth it, all right? Thumbs up. Hit, hit the thumbs up button. <laughs> uh, like the video. Subscribe if you're new around here because there is plenty of raids content coming your way. Um, I'll also be doing a lot of live streams coming over the coming days and weeks on the free-to-play account. So if you do want to see kind of firsthand how I do some of these things, then you're going to be able to follow the series and see how we do. But that's it for now, guys. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Thank you for watching. And until the next time, I'll catch you soon.